In this episode of Anatomy and Mattress, we are gonna dissect the Beautyrest Black. So let's go. We got this Beautyrest Black that came to us the other day from a customer. How old is this one, Gabe? This one is uh, 2013. 2013, so it's about almost 10 years old. Looks in decent condition. So a customer needed a, came to us needed a mattress. They slept warmer and um, they wanted something a little bit cooler. I remember this bed. So a little quick background on my story. I used to work for a large company for learning the business years ago. I remember selling this bed. This was the Brooklyn. It was like a cushion firm or a plush firm. It was like a firm pillow top. You said it was starting to get too hot for them and- A little, little firmer than they liked. Okay. With it being hot, you know, sleeping up, waking up with some pain on their side since they're side sleepers, so it's time for new mattresses. All right, yeah. Visually, I think it looks like a pretty mattress. It looks like a beautiful mattress, but like I say, almost every video, it's what's on the inside that counts, like people. This Beautyrest Black was, it was, and it still is like Beautyrest's luxury line. This is like their upper level Beautyrest. A 15 inch mattress, measured from the bottom where the platform is, and then have a straight edge, and wherever it you see it meet, that's the thickness, you know? Don't measure it like right here. People would cut off that inch or two inches if they measure it to that. You both take that. Little quick tip for you. So let's open this sucker up. We're gonna start with taking off the pillow top. A little different today? Yeah, this is a little different. We got the pillow top finally off. I mean, this is a very luxurious looking pillow top. So, so starting from the top, we have the tack and jump quilt, which does give it a little bit more of that softness and that dimension that it looks like it looks like it's tufted. Yeah, but it's that luxurious feel, right? Yeah, it gives us more of that luxurious look, and also can affect the, the firmness of the mattress. You got yes. the ice cold foam. <laughs> if yeah. you guys didn't know, when they make the foam blue, that makes it cool. At least that's the idea for the marketing team. How yes. does it feel? Does it feel cold? It feels as cold as my breakfast burrito that I had this morning. So this is the memory foam. This is the memory foam part. You got about an inch. Is this memory foam underneath? No, it? this is more like a, just a regular high density yeah. poly foam. So you feel about two inches in that, three inches in the quilting. Let's open up the panel. This is where the quilting is. Right here, this is the FR for the, for the panel. This FR is the fire retardant. Um, just every match is supposed to pass the fire test. Most companies use some sort of fiber like this. Some use a chemical. You know, this one, it's it's more of the older style FR that I've seen about 10 years ago. It's another soft foam layer. And then you have, looks like a little bit firmer foam. So you got two layers of foam and then the FR quilt to give us some of that that body. That's actually a really significant quilting mm -hmm. on this. I mean, you can see why, you know, the customer said, a little bit of heat, right? Yeah. So that's a little bit warmer. The more foam, the more cushioning that you have in the mattress, you're gonna seek in more and then being more in the mattress rather than on it, you're gonna notice it, notice the heat issue, notice the temperature issue. Mm -hmm. That's five inches right there of that foam. Yeah, right? this is just five inches. This is the, the comfort layer, what we'll say. Yep. Now let's go to the support layer. So the support layer is, we'll, we call the bottom layer the support layer. You know, these, these good looking mattresses, they, sometimes it, sucks to want to mess them up but it's all for science so this is an inner spring mattress no it is not a faux mattress this is actually a pocketed quilt inner spring mattress but what we see here normally what you'll see is springs or i should say normally but a lot of mattresses here we see foam and the reason why is because it is foam encasement what's the foam encasement game foam encasement is a perimeter of foam all around the edges and then you put the drop the springs right inside the middle it does a couple of things Right, gives you a, a firmer edge all around. So when you see it all put together, it's got a nice smooth edge. In the store, it also gives it that firm feel on the on the edges. Yes. Right. Yeah. Edge is edge support is very important with mattresses. Here's where I do not like it, like foam encasement because in the short term it looks good and it feels good. In the long term, what happens is this foam, after sitting at the edge for many years, it will tend to buckle and it will tend to collapse some. I see that happen with quite a bit of mattresses that we take apart as the edges break down. Also, it does kind of change the firmness of the bed if you sleep towards the edge. And then, like, cause usually it's about two to three inches thick. So if you sleep at the edge and then you roll a little bit more to the center, it does change the feel of the mattress. So I'm not the biggest fan of foam encasement. Um, I do prefer like a whole edge to edge coil. Those are the ones that, that we use and those tend to work a lot better. So, and they actually work better on an adjustable base. So you can still use these on an adjustable bases, but over the bending, they're just, they don't move as freely. Excuse that noise. We're in the factory today, as you can see, obviously. So it's a little bit louder than 
picture than it normally is. All right, so let's measure this real quick. Just take this, open this you got up. Five inches right here in that pillow top, and then you got two inches, five layers stacked above the support system, right? Our philosophy has been if you've watched any of our videos, is less is more when it comes to mattress construction. When it comes to like the durability of the mattress, like the longevity, and also just the way it supports you, we have found that less is more. You know, and what we mean by that is the more layers that you have in the bed, there's more that could go wrong in the mattress. We've done a whole video on that, which I'll link to this video. Another reason why is most of your support is gonna come from the bottom, from the coil. And let's open this up so you can see how many inches of support layer versus how many inches of the comfort layer. Let's just open this up. Okay. Okay, so yeah, let's pull this back so we can see the actual inside of the, the coils. How deep is this foam encasement? Say four, three and a half. So yeah, we got a three and a half inch um, rail. Three actually. See how firm this is compared to this? I think you have a person that's about 250 pounds sitting at the edge in and out, you know, and they have this mattress for eight, 10 years. So that's going to give over time. You or know? even an adjustable base, right? Adjustable You're base. It's possible yeah. to have bending. And I'm not a huge fan of foam encasement, as you, as you guys can probably tell. Here is where Beautyrest Black, I remember when these guys came out, they came out with cable coil. So here's a cool up close with the cable coil. This is really was one of the things that separated them. You see how it's in a cable where you got these three. And the story behind this was that it, was, it made the spring really firm and supported which I believe they did. I mean, that's actually, in theory, it was a good concept. Now, I believe this is an alternating cable coil, if I remember correctly. So like every other row was a cable coil because the first issue of Vitares Flats was all cable coil and it was a really firm space. Every other coil on this one, one was a cable, one was the traditional pocketed coil. We have to even out the firmness, but there was some consistency. Yeah. yeah, there was some unevenness. Vitares is known for with their pocketed coil. They're one of the, like, the pioneers of the individual coil. Yeah, it's an eight inch coil. I've been actually video from the video about an eight inch coil. This is a, so an eight inch coil, which is tend to be about average, is standard of a lot of these mattresses. So you got seven inches of that foam material above your support. So you have eight inches of the support layer, seven inches of the comfort layer. Let's open this up a little bit. A lot of dissecting on this one. Most of the support, you want from down here, but look, if you're seven inches up here, this is supposed to support you, not this. That's what happens is, is the body pressure starts to happen. We have seven inches of friction on top of that. That's the breakdown. That's why we say less is more. And also what you guys notice is that a lot of them are loose in here and they tend to like separate. What you don't want is them to get loose in here and then they start to separate and then you get another body impression and just don't hold up. So a few of these are starting to come loose. For a 10-year-old mattress, it wasn't horrible. You notice that there was some dipping on there. It wasn't horrible. Yeah, if they, I mean, if the customer didn't have that heat issue, too bad that blue foam didn't solve it, or they didn't wake up with that shoulder pain and like that hip pointer they felt like. Yep. Um, I mean, I think this would have still been a good match for them if yeah. they wanted a firm bed, right? Yeah, yeah. If they wanted a firm bed, it would have been okay. Yeah. So I probably would have given this one a minus. Yeah. This one. For it, being, for it being about 10 years old. One of the things to just point out, I mean, you can see every now and then when we open up the mattresses, inconsistencies in the foam, or maybe smudge marks in the foam, right? I mean, in ours, you have the zipper cover so you can see it, actually, but that's just natural. If you, when you're in a factory, that happens, like this green mark right over there. You know, they may just be marking it up inside the, inside the factory, pointing out, okay, this is a firm foam, or this goes together. One of those things that uh, you don't notice, they can salt taped up, you know, sewed up together, but in ours, right, when it's open, some people say, hey, well, why is there, uh, you know, might be a smudge mark, well, it's just, it's in the factory. It's not gonna affect the durability of the steel. That sums up for the Beautyrest Black. I hope this guy is entertaining, help you see a little bit behind the scenes with mattresses. Um, if you guys are in your mattress shop and you're any other guy, a little mattress guy, that you guys could download. Like this video. Yeah, like Please the subscribe. video. Make a comment on, uh, you know, Papa Cool Hat. I don't have a hat. I don't, he doesn't let me wear a hat during these videos. If you have more hair, I don't have much hair. All right, well, thanks for watching.